Hello and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Nurse Alyssa and today I'm going to be going over the PQRST U assessment, okay? It's how to get more information from subjective symptoms such as pain. But first, if you could hit that subscribe button, it would be greatly appreciated as it truly does help my channel. So let's get started. So what is the PQRSTU method of assessing? So it's a valuable tool to accurately describe and assess and document the patient's symptoms, okay? This method aids in appropriate treatment and evaluation of the response to treatment, okay? Nurses can help patients more accurately describe and report their symptoms by using the PQRSTU assessment questions, okay? So it's grabbing more information from them. So P, what were you doing when the symptoms started? What's caused it? Okay, what provoked this to happen? Why is it happening? Um, is there anything that makes it better or worse or seems to trigger it? Um, stress, position, certain activities. Is there anything that relieves it? So medication, massage, hot, cold, position change, uh, being active, resting. Is there anything that aggravates it? So movement, bending, laying down, standing, um, walking. Okay, these are all the questions that we can ask just for pee. So Q, quality or quantity. What does it feel like? So have them describe the symptom, okay? Is it dull, stabbing, burning, crushing, throbbing, nauseating, shooting, twisting, stretching? You know, we can, we can use this for so many symptoms it's it's used for pain a lot um but really any symptom you can use this for okay r for region or is it radiating okay where is the symptom located does the symptom radiate if it radiates where is it radiating down the arm okay does it feel like it travels or moves around did it start in one location and now is in a different location? So severity. So on a scale of zero to 10, I'm going to use pain um, just, just as an example here. So zero being no pain, 10 being the worst pain, okay? That's always how the scale goes. Zero is no, 10 is the worst. Um, so you have them rate it on a scale. Now, once again, um, what's the severity of pain, depression, dizziness? You know, you can use it for any symptom. Um, ask, does it interfere with activities? Um, how bad is it at its worst? Okay, does it kind of fluctuate? So what's the worst that you felt and what's the best that you felt? Um, does it force you to sit or lay down or slow down? Does it interfere with your activities of daily living? Um, and how long does an episode last? Is it just constant? Is it kind of intermittent? Okay. Okay, T for timing. Okay, when or what time did the symptoms start? Okay. How long did it last? How often does it last? Okay, does it occur daily, weekly, monthly? Um, does it happen suddenly or is it kind of gradual? What were you doing when you first experienced it? Okay, is it happen at day, uh, night, early morning? Are you ever awakened by the symptoms? Um, does it lead to any other problems? Okay. Is it accompanied by other signs or symptoms? Okay. Does it happen before or after a meal? Does it happen seasonally? Okay. You can put all the timing around this. Now for you, the you, it's really about them and your patient. Okay. So you can ask questions like, what, what do you think is causing this? Um, what do you think would help this? 
um, a lot of times people have an idea of how they can be helped with their symptoms. So you is just simply asking them, okay? Simply asking them. Um, so I hope this video has given you a better idea and has kind of given you a guideline of how to do a better assessment and the types of questions that you should be asking for these subjective symptoms, okay? But that's all I have for this video, guys. I hope you did find it helpful and I hope to catch you in my next video. Bye for now.